Hello there. It has been some time since I reported back to you. Throughout that time, we have been negotiating with Secwater regarding the development of a term sheet. And we had hoped this process would be finished by March. Like any negotiation, it's only as fast as the other party will allow it to be. It's fair to say that during the negotiations, a new water model has been produced by Secwater and presented to the state government for approval. It is our understanding that the new model takes into account updated population projections, but more significantly, it has been recalibrated with climate change inclusions. This new information affected future water availability and is also going to impact on pricing. The new information was beyond the expertise scope of our commercial advisor. So in order to review the revised model, we engaged KBR, which is where some of the people who previously worked with Jacobs are now working. We also engaged water modelling specialist, Wairima, to overview the assumptions that Secwater had used in their water model. In an attempt to bring matters to a head, we had our commercial advisor prepare our own term sheet and we presented that to Secwater. Secwater in turn advised us that they could not accept our term sheet and indicated that they had already started to prepare their own document. Despite our best efforts to push this along, we have still not received a draft term sheet for discussion from Secwater. About six weeks ago, I took the decision to suspend the services of our commercial advisor, so we were not spending money needlessly. When we have a draft document back from Secwater, we will reassess things at that point. I also want to update you on some of the other activities that we have engaged in. Uh, earlier this year, <clears throat> I reported that money had been secured as part of a city deal, which essentially became a regional deal in South East Queensland. $10 million has been secured to allow us to get the project to a shovel-ready stage. Subsequent to that, a change in federal government has occurred, which has required us to seek the assistance of the Council of Mayors of South East Queensland Secretariat. Together, we will meet with officers of the federal and state government departments to find a way to release some of these funds to allow us to continue with this work. I want to thank Scott Buchholz for his support in securing those initial city deal commitments and Mayors Milligan and uh, Lehman for their ongoing lobbying work that they have been undertaking. Uh, following an invitation from Mayor Milligan, we were able to meet recently at Gatton with the new Federal Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry and Minister for Emergency Service Management, Senator Murray Watt. Local member Scott Buckholz also attended that meeting to provide the Minister with additional background information. This week, the Mayors and I will also meet with the State Government Director General covering water, Graham Frame. Uh, we are also seeking further meetings with the State Minister, Glenn Butcher. To be frank with you, it has been a frustrating year to this point, and I had hoped to be able to deliver more comprehensive news to you. However, we soldier on, and I want to acknowledge the ongoing commitment and work being undertaken on your behalf by Brock Sutton, Gordon Van Der Est, Greg Banth and Paul Emerson. My thanks also go to David Whisker from Urban Utilities and the ongoing support being provided by them in a very practical way. Uh, to these people, as well as the support of the elected representatives and staff of the two regional councils, I say thank you. Uh, we will update you again in the not too distant future.